everybody needs this brush. Welcome back to Tassie Beauty. I'm Tassie and today I'm excited to actually play around with Main Squeeze. This is going to be the red range from the ColourPop Dream Big Vault. So if you guys are interested in seeing the look I created and swatches, continue watching. Right off the bat, I am noticing they don't have a lot of bright shades. They have a lot of darker shades. So this will be interesting. <laughs> All right, taking my Sigma Taper Blending E35 brush, I'm gonna go into Froze. Now, just so you guys know, red is the shade I always go with on my eyeshadow, but these are like red. And by the way, I only have concealer on my eyes. And when I say these are red, <laughs> I'm used to also playing around with pinks and iridescent types of pinks because I like to have that sparkle in my shades. Um, so this is really going to challenge me not to have any. Taking the Sigma Blending E25 brush, I think I'm going to go into Home Slice. It's very red, like a true red, you guys. Let's see how it looks applied. I like this. I like this one a lot. All right, I'm gonna go back into the tapered E35 brush that we had used Froze with, and I'm gonna wipe off the excess here, and I'm gonna to try to blend this true red out. Let's just see how it works. I mean, this is blending out kind of okay. It's a little stubborn, but I could tell it was going to be stubborn. And if you've worked with a lot of shadows before, there are some that's just butter. The true red is not buttery, okay? It's definitely something you're going to have to work it to get it to move. All right, I'm going to take the Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. And because it's rounded and it's short and stubble, I can actually go ahead and push it in more to get it to move. Much better. Okay, taking my Sigma Tapered Face F25. I need to get this red off my nose. It's bugging me. It's there. It's there. Going in with my concealer brush. I'm just gonna... I need to remove it. Concealer man gets rid of everything. Going back with the E35, blend this out. I 
everybody needs this brush. All right, I'm gonna flip the E25 blending brush that I had used in Home Slice, and I'm gonna go into Red Bottoms, and I really wanna just darken the edges here, just because that's the look I tend to always go with, where I like to have the ends there to be darker. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's gonna get any darker than this almost like I need some black or something because it's not getting deep enough for my preference. I feel like there's something that's grabbing this eye over here and I don't know what it is and it's bugging me. It's like it looks textured. Do you guys see that? It's not just me right? It looks and that's not something that's normally on my eye okay so I do makeup a lot. It looks like it grabbed something and it's textured. What is that? We're gonna move on, pretend that's not there. Okay, so I really wanna know what maraschino looks like, but I'm gonna swatch it first, just to see before I put it on my eyeball. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, onto my eyeball it is. Ooh. Kind of despaired. Okay. Is it me? Is it me? I mean, it's 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 pretty. It's cute. It's not like you know. It's it's like it's subtle. I feel like it's brighter. Okay, let's try out like it's hot. And I'm using just the same E35 that I had used up here to blend earlier. Like it's hot. Ooh, ooh. Like, um, okay. We're gonna go for it. Let's see what it does. Nothing? Okay. Hmm. 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 Let's try my finger in red hot. And I'm gonna use my pinky. Let's see if it'll show up more, like. It's getting better, it's getting better. Because right now I'm feeling like all the shades look the same. <laughs> like I need some kind of variation here and I'm just not getting it. It's just the same color. This shade works a lot better with your finger versus, um, but even touching it is really grainy. I can feel it being grainy. It's not as smooth as butter kind of eyeshadow. Now we have some variation. It looks like there was a crime scene on my eyes. <laughs> huh. Huh. Hmm. I gotta clean up under my eyes. Alright, this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna put a shadow over it anyways. Um I'm gonna move on. I mean I need to see what juicy fruit's all about because it looks kinda like a turdy color. But I just need to know. Let's see. Alright, let's just ignore my super dry skin. Um let's try juicy fruit in my the inner corners of my eyes. All right, taking the Jeffree Star JS13 brush, let's go into Juicy Fruit and let's just see what it looks like in the corners of my eyes. Okay, I'm get. Oh God. Okay, it's like um orange, brown, orangey, peachy brown without a lot of payout, <laughs> like, even like in real life, I'm trying to see it in real life, it, we're gonna move on. All right, taking my Tartiest, where it's the dual tips, one is gel and the other one is the actual liner. So I'm just gonna do my wing and then we'll be back. Let's put some lashes on. All right, lashes are on. 
Now, I want to actually try and use the red eyeliner, gel liner from ColourPop. So, this is what it looks like. I introduced this in my purple one that I did. And if I just take the Jeffree Star JS14, I tap my brush into it and I draw it on. It actually draws on really nicely. I really like the pigment on this. So I am actually going to flip it to use the other flat end there just so that it's more of a, like a liner, a gel type of liner. And let's see how this actually works. Very nice. Taking the JS13 brush that I had used for the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to apply Baywatch. Let's see what this looks like. Is it just me? Do y'all see anything? All right, let me swatch Baywatch. Um, it's very coppery. You can kind of see it. Maybe it's one of those pigments that you have to use your fingers. Huh. I feel like it's darkening my eye and I have a disease. <laughs> like, let's go for a brighter shade now. Let's do Big Gulp. Okay, let's try it like it's hot. You know, maybe it's hard because I'm wearing a red gel liner. So it's really competing with it. And the shades are just not showing up because of that. But I will say like it's hot showed up. I feel like I look sick. <laughs> let's go in with Fluffy from ColourPop, which is another gel. Um, when I did the purple one, it really made it pop. It's looking better. I feel like I need to darken my face because now I just look, I just look really sickly, you guys. Here is the final look. My final thoughts on Main Squeeze. This palette here is definitely an easy pass for me. And you know, that's so sad because I love red shades. But I definitely felt like on your eyes, every shade looked the same. I mean, like, I don't know how many shades are on my eye right now, like four? It looks like I just did two shades and I had to use my finger for the darkest shade that they had and I just look sickly man like so I just definitely felt that the colors they didn't blend very easily and then they kind of grabbed something on my eye that wasn't there the shades they look a lot alike so if you are going to use it I would probably recommend you sticking to just one or two shades um, don't use too many shades because they end up looking kind of muddy in the same color. All of these shades, even though in the pan, they look like they are all different shades. When you try to blend and mix them together, they look really muddy. But then with the Huda palette here, with these type of shades, it re they really stand out and it could be the formula. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely when you put on a shade from the Huda Obsessions one, you can see the difference. Whereas I feel like with the ColourPop, because they blended so well together, they just started to look like the same color. And I was like, is it just me? And then some colors don't really show up well unless you use your fingers, which isn't always gonna be ideal if you're working with a small, tight area. Like your eyes. This Ace Beauty one here, I love this palette as well. And I mean, it's got the hot pinks, it's got the shimmers, it's got the darks, it's got the nice red. All right, so it's just, 
this was a real big letdown. And it's because red is my shade on my eyes. I always go for, I go for red. And this just looks like, besides me looking sickly, okay, let's just put that aside. <laughs> I look scary. <laughs> I just wish that they had added a little bit more range and dimension with this palette here, but it is pigmented. It's very, very pigmented. Might look really great on your skin tone, but for myself, for some reason, even though it's like a nice true red, I just really felt like it didn't show up well on my skin tone. This would be a really good Halloween palette. All right, you guys, so that is my thoughts on the main squeeze palette from ColourPop. I definitely believe that some of these shades I will use, but not just the whole palette. I would have to use this palette in conjunction with another palette. Thanks for watching, you guys.